Good, how are you? Um, well, thank you. Kelly, is that you? That is me. How are you tonight? Good, you? Not too bad, not too bad. Since we, uh, I guess it's six o'clock, we've got, it's just us on here so far. So have you heard anything about, uh, uh, no, I haven't heard anything, but it was pretty busy today. Yeah, that's... They have the big tree coming down, Lone Pine, right? Yep, yep. It looks kind of funny. I imagine it's one of those things you really hadn't paid much of. I mean, you knew it was there, but, um... You know, now it's... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 
responsible for that tax bill. Yeah, so I think they, we need to, you know, at least, um, I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think? Reach out to them and do it, you know? Yeah. I mean, if they're owners, I mean, at least they should pay two-thirds of it or...
the um, the results. So hopefully you guys can get that tax rate set soon. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry I miss, um, misspoke when I was thinking this was um, a part of that as well. So, all right, well, thank you very much. Um, and we will, as soon as they get that lodged, get a um, um, work with you to get a tax rate set. Okay, and I'm going to stay on for a few minutes because Cheryl's here. She's going to be sitting in just listening. All right. All right, so let's um, go ahead on next to the next um, agenda item and the sidewalk update. So, John, why don't you go ahead? Okay. <clears throat> so, um, probably the end of the, next, end of the week or early next week, um, they will be starting on the, uh, at the tree with the sidewalk on that side. Um, I think Ray will be able to fill you in on, on where they are um, in regards to the other. But bottom, bottom line, B, uh, I believe today you finished up over by the fire station, right, Ray? Yes, uh, yeah, we got the, up the pipe up to the road and put the structure in at the uh, intersection, and we're ready to start heading um, south. Heading, heading south, right. So basically, as, as they head south and put in the catch basins, they'll just kind of follow, follow along with the sidewalk. Uh, so they just keep inching the way down the, uh, the street. Yep, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll probably do the sidewalk uh, uh, from the brook to the store first, and then that'll give us time to get most of the storm drain in uh, up past the school, and then they'll cross the bridge, cross the brook, and uh, start on the other side. Um, so it'll, it should be a continual operation from here on in. And, and how many weeks, uh, uh, Randy, are you guys going to be there? I, I believe the storm drain will be all in, you know, by the end of the month. I'm thinking in three weeks or so. Uh, the curbing and sidewalk will, will go into July. I'm hoping by mid-July things are pretty well wrapped up. Uh, that's the way it looks right now. I mean, we, we need good weather and a few other but uh, I, I think we're in, I think we're in a good spot right now. All right. We still haven't heard anything, um, unless, John, you have anything to report as far as um, bridge construction? Uh, no, just uh, that last piece about August 22nd or whatever it was. Yep, okay, I didn't think anything else had gone out. No other updates from that. But Any complaints, that, John, in town at all or anything? Um, no. Um, I had, I had a little bit of a, of a problem today when um, there was a, a group of young children, um, supposedly on a treasure hunt. I mean, I, e I emailed um, Katrina to see what the story was. And, you know, it was just with two adults. Neither adult had a mask on. Um, and the, the fact that, you know, with the, with the, the way it was in directing traffic, it was really amazing through, through the village. I mean, it was it was dangerous being on the sidewalk because cars were rooted onto the sidewalk, and here these kids are there. So I don't know who is responsible for that, but um, we. Uh, I know that I spoke with Nick, and he said they're going to, you know, close off sections whenever they're working on, you know, a 
truck. If it didn't get there this afternoon, it'll be there tomorrow, and it'll be there continually uh, when it does get dusty. And we did, uh, our loader with a sweeper arrived as well, so things will be uh, cleaned up more. Um, you know, there's going to be some dust during the day, but sure. I, I think we got on it, uh, uh, and it, it should be it should be better from from here on in. You know, just uh, you know, it's still in the early stages of the of the job, and uh, yep. you know, just, just react based on what you see sometimes, and, and uh, so we, we're, that's what we're doing. Uh, okay, we know we need a sweeper, we know we need water. Let's get it out there, and and, and we're working on that. Good. No, I think that, and that's. You know, everything's not going to be perfect at once, Ray, and, uh, but we certainly appreciate, um, you know, the way you've reacted to it, and you've already got signs um, made up, and it sounds like uh, dust control uh, is going into place as well, so that's great to hear. Yeah, we also uh, thought, uh, agreed with the engineer, I told the engineer that I thought it would be best to have a sure up in town for a few days, it's a pay item. Yeah. Um, part of the contract, and so we had a blue light on the site, parked at Hurdle Road all day, and we're going to keep that till at least Wednesday to try to slow the traffic drown down to the village. Uh, Good. For, right. And hopefully people will learn. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> um, Don any, or Callie, any questions? Yeah, it's kind of on the street. Yeah, is, is on the um, on the bridge. Is it? It's closing in August, but it, the construction is going to start earlier than that, isn't it? I mean, they have preliminary work to do before they actually physically close the bridge. That is correct. So that's they, yeah, they had right. Construction on the front side, getting ready and everything for like two months, and then they were going to close it for two months, and then they had another two months after when they opened the bridge back up. Right. The, the original closure date, I think, it was June 22nd. As you said, that would include pre-work prior to the bridge closing. Um, however, because they don't have or didn't have access to some of their materials for the bridge, they were actually going to push back that start date because there was no need to be there on site um, if they weren't going to have materials when they needed them. Yeah, uh, and so that's kind of what we're waiting on right now. When is the actual, you know, when are you starting work? And, and again, not when you're closing the, the bridge, when are you starting work? Um, yeah, you would have to do an update. Yeah, they would have to start mid-July or something. They were going to do a closing in by August, you know, or something. Right, well, we would expect to, um, so, but we had heard, and, you know, maybe John yeah. had a chance to uh, reach out to Chris. Uh, I know he gave us the last update, and he's doing the best right. he can on that, but uh, see if there's any more um, closure on that so everyone okay. can start planning. Uh, um, John, did you, John, did you get a requisition this afternoon from... Yes, I did. So it, it looks good. I'll um, get that over to um, Cheryl Lynn. Okay, excellent. Right, and that's a requisition for? Uh, for for Dubois. It uh, uh, came from GPI to pay oh, Dubois. Voice, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 45000 is what uh, <clears throat> it's for. All right. All right, any, um, I know we had another question, and this came in, uh, even someone from the state is a state tech or engineer, John, it went to you and I, and I think you said you, you spoke to Ray about it. And this concerns filling in or doing work on Deb Carroll's lands where we were originally were going to, or where the original um, catch basin is. Right. Um, yeah. So, um, and in that email that the state asked if, if the state would be, or if the town would be willing to um, go over and, uh, you know, I guess clean it up and, and rip wrap it and stuff. And um, 
minimum cost. I, I don't foresee any uh, participation in, in the cost to the town. I, I worked at Al Carroll. If there is a little cost there, I think she'll pay it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll work out something there. But it's not, it's not a, it's not a big deal. It really isn't a big deal. Um, what what needs to be done out there? It's just just filling in a hole. It's an hour's worth of work, hour or less. All right. Well, so if you guys want to go ahead and do it, that's that's fine. Um, yeah, I just think it just would look good. All right. Yeah. Well, I think, and I um look at it a little bit and my suggestion if it's going to be done it needs to be done now because I think the only way to do it would be to come from where those guys are working now right Ray and come across yeah pretty much right I mean, we have to get back down in there and, and clean up where we brought the pipe up so it's, it's, we'll have the equipment right there because there's because um, if you remember there's there's a there's a gas tank in a, in a septic field on her lawn so you can't go across to her, her or at least I don't no, no, we're responsible we're, we're for doing that. So I think the only way to enter it or to get it is to come from where you guys are working and then work upstream that way, to be honest with you. But you're the engineer, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So we'll be past your place, and that line will be abandoned this week, so uh, they'll be taken care of. I told you sometime before the end of the job, it'll be, it'll be cleaned up. All right. Well, thank you, Ray. Appreciate you doing that. Yeah, thanks, Ray. That's, that's really great. That works well. All right. Um, so now, any other comments, concerns about any of the sidewalks or um, catch basin stuff? I guess just one other question real quick. So when the sidewalks get done, is, is that when the state's planning on the, doing the paving? I mean, regardless of what, what's going on with the bridge, right? Or are they going to yeah. wait after the bridge? It, it won't be after the bridge. I don't see it happening immediately after the sidewalks. Okay. I think there'll be a period yeah. of time. It didn't sound like, again, when getting our update from Chris, that that uh, Pike was in a big hurry to get here. Um, yeah, they well, they got a thing. lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, and so they were, I think they were erring on the side of, uh, kind of caution, if you will, and saying, all right, let's just keep pushing that off because, you know, we have not only one, we have two projects that we're kind of working around. Um, right. And they also said that they would, the bridge is not a hold up for them. You know, they can go within 100 feet of the bridge and stop and uh, and then go back and tie, um, yeah. tie it in without being a big deal. So, um, but I don't expect, I think it'll be, August, September, before they, they pay for yeah, the Yeah, ideally, stuff. maybe after a lot, maybe some of the heavy stuff on the bridge is done so the new road doesn't, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're all, you know, they don't, you know, they're not great communicators, they're worse than me, but um, they're all thinking of that, or, or I hope yeah. they, are, they are. So, yeah. based on what Chris says, they, they, they spend a little more time on it than probably what we think. Anyways, but so this brings us um, to reports or communications. Uh, so, Don, while we're, you're talking, do you have anything? I know you had uh, reached out to uh, listen, Jameson's over there in, uh, in Waitsfield, John Jameson at the select board about um, something. Did you ever hear back from him? No, I haven't. I haven't heard anything back from, from them. No, God has it yet. So one of the things that we want to, I, I think, with signage, with the, with the bridge, I know we want to do um, as much as possible as far as uh, slowing the traffic down. Um, mm -hmm. And again, we have that, um, you know, by making all these signs, is it going to drive people there? I, I don't know. But I think we spend a ton of money on extra signage until we know what is there, what they're bringing, and I think typically, and Ray can attest to this, if we see something right off the bat that's not working, we can probably get more signage from the company rather than yeah. spending it ourselves. Yeah, I wasn't thinking like tons of signage. It was just, um, I think I'm thinking it more, if, if this might not even be in this meeting or you know, just having a, a brainstorming about it and maybe working with Waitsville as well. And I'll just take 
two seconds of everybody's time and tell you that the other day, because I use that road a lot, both I drive it and I bicycle, I cycle it a lot. So because I go out to run traps in different places. But, so just friendly road, and then you get on the north road, you know, over the covered bridge to 100B, driving somewhere between 20 and 25 miles an hour takes 9.5 minutes. That's how long it takes. Under 10 minutes. Driving at 20 to 25, 26, 27. Which, when you drive 35, like going by the cop and the farm, or up by uh, fancy plants, or even get into Waitsville by you know, the farm O'Neill's and people who go straight will be, you know, end up going by the, you know, the nail farm. Anyway, from Meadow Road to North Road to Pony Farm Road to to 100D is seven minutes at 20 to 25 miles an hour. So I'm just throwing up out there that somehow if we can just get the message to people who are going to be using that road to slow down, you know, that this is people's neighborhoods and people walking and dogs, babies, all that stuff, and the dust as well. So yeah. anyway, just something to think about. I don't think we're going to decide right now, but I think we should think about it and yeah, we could work with Waitsfield on it, and and uh, that's all. Oh right. well, no, I think we're all uh, uh, you know would like to see the traffic calmed, and if we can, we can find a unique way to do it, um, you know, all for us. I, I know I spoke yeah. with Corey, um, the library, the other day about it, and you know, one thing that she and she her kids want to make some signs, and, and so we, we were thinking, you know. Those the either teardrop signs or the old uh, um, old shaving cream commercials or razor commercials, you know, every 20 feet. But you know, again, a personalized. You know, mm-hmm. this is our yeah. your family. These are your kids. Those are the ones that are going to make an impact on someone. I think um, so too. You know, those the ones that you know, drive as if your kids live here. You know, that that yeah. stuff. Um, Absolutely. And then hey. my my suggestion to Corey as well, and, and to anyone is and. and you know, Don, if you're out on the road, ride your bike. Um, you need to continually call the, the state police in Middlesex to let them know that, you know, you, you know there was a speeders or speeders. Um, that's how they will start patrolling that road or, or uh, doing more patrols on the road. And, you know, that's what the lieutenant there has, has told us in the past. You know, the best mm-hmm. way to get, get us there is, you know, have people call us. So the more that you call them, if you're out there and you have oh, problems, uh, the better. Yeah, no, I am. Yeah, I hear you. So okay. I think we need hey, to listen, we're gonna, we're gonna, people are gonna want people, people are gonna be calling about the village once it's paid, you know, and people are flying through there. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, hey, listen, Ray will tell you on Ray will tell you on his road. He goes out for a walk and people go flying by him. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know. well, part of our road is Ferry and Northfield and everything else. I mean, I have people go by my house at 40 miles an hour. I know. Every day. People who live above my house go 40 miles an hour by my house. I've almost been hit by people who live up the road. I think that's I an know. every road concern. It's it not is. just that. It it happens on every road. Every road. I totally agree with you. And, and that's why I have a culture like that. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, and like I said, it is, you're not getting there much quicker by, by speeding around if you, you do the, the math and do the timing. Yeah, this no, is why we need uh, to have local enforcement who's a constable with, with speeding. You know, um, if you had someone in town that was that was their job and they got a portion of the, the, the fine, you'd see them working pretty hard and people slowing down. All right, Don, you got anything else you want to share with us? No, 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 no. All right, Callie, how about yourself? You're talking to us tonight. Um, I don't really have anything else. Nothing else? No. Right. Um, Ray or John, I know you guys have uh, been busy with the, the sidewalk stuff, but anything else you can share with us? Uh, yeah, I can... Um, I wanted to just uh, mention the whole thing with 
bracket. Yep. Um, and I guess the, you know, she had uh, sent us an email about some ideas for the uh, summer camp for the Mecca kids or whatever they're Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, so today when I, when I uh, emailed her about the kids in the village, she said that they're actually going to be in various locations in Waitsfield this summer. So we don't have to worry about any finding them of any space in Moortown. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was that was good. But I'm st- I'm still confused about that. that yeah. Mass. How can it turn into a nonprofit? I guess I thought it was a school sponsored thing through the union. Yeah, it's really. I mean, that was to me. It seemed like that was one of their real strong things that the the schools had going, and they wanted to replicate that other places. Yeah. Why would they abandon it and kind of send it on its way, to be honest with you? It seems they've done. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe, um, uh, I mean, if you'd like, I can, I can reach out to um, Kristen and see, or Kristen or Lisa to see. Yeah, why don't you send them both to me email and just say, hey, we'll just yeah. give us an update on uh, what happened to, you know, um, that program. I know it was something Dwayne had started there a while ago, and I mean, they were actually making money, if I if correct, right? I mean, every year. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And it was why kids were coming to Moortown School. Yeah. So, yeah. again, if that's a school board issue dropping something like that, that would it's even more reason to really um, see what's going on there in that superintendent's office. Yeah. Now, did everybody else get the uh, email about Nice's contract being up for renewal? Or no, I didn't. No. That. Okay, I got that. I got that uh, evening, and um, so I guess the, the the vote is on June tenth. Really? Yeah. So let me let me just um, pull this. This came from uh, Kate Wanner in um, Waitsfield, and it just says, uh, the board will be voting on whether or not to extend Superintendent Neese's contract next meeting Wednesday, June 10th. Wow. Time to encourage everyone to reach out to the board so they can hear from me about whether we should uh, support her continued role in the school district. Hmm. She said, I, just, I imagine it could be a close vote. So, uh, uh, well, I think as a board, this board should, I think, personally, I, I'm sorry? I think this board, um, and I would move that we, um, you know, vote a vote of no confidence, yeah. send that to their board, and, uh, I mean, she's got to go. Yeah, she does, yeah. In my mind. So I will make that motion. That okay, we, I'll second that. Uh, any further discussion? Don, Kelly, I'm taking. I'm taking. Um, and then I think everyone can reach out themselves to those boards, but uh, I think this would be a first good step is to get her gone. I mean, that's the biggest problem they've got right there. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, opportunities don't come along that often, that often they got to uh, take advantage of it. So if there's no other further discussion, um, all in favor vote aye. Uh, aye. 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 John, Don, Kelly, everyone? All right, unanimous. So Sasha, we'll work with that and we'll send out um, a um, letter to all the board members and uh, the, the, um, the anyone who's on that list. Okay. Well, thanks, John. What else you got, John? Uh, that's it. Good. Ray, did you have anything else? Yeah, I'm all set. Thank you. All right. Um, so I've had a couple things. First, I, I got a letter in the mail this weekend from um, Ellie Ferris, and she was not happy about the placing of the plow. Um, 
could be looked at. You know, if we could maybe with uh, maybe there's someone in town who would volunteer their time. You know, a designer or, or someone. You know, a, a landscape architect or a architect or some uh, engineer that we could maybe look at how it could maybe be laid out a little differently, so that we could actually have river access for townspeople. You know. And then you could get in there safely and, you know, both could coexist. You know, so it's, it's just something to think of down the road that could be a possibility. Yeah, I, so. it would, if, if anyone wants to come up with a better design of what we have there with all the, there's, in the, there's setback issues of some things you don't know. Yeah. Everyone doesn't know from, even the bushes from people across the road and where the entrance can be. And, and, yeah, we yep. can't, can't really move a lot of the things. So, but if anyone had a better idea on how to do it and it's, it's functional, I think anyone would be happy to take a look at it. But frankly, I'd love to see the the, the sand pit somewhere else. Yeah, you know, well, when I was on the board last, we were trying to move the town off and the town garage sand pit down by the swim hole, but that didn't work out. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I think that's a, that would be a beautiful spot for, like I said, town access, the gazebo and, and such. But um, you know, it is what it is, and we have what we have. Yeah. Now, so we want to make it work and make uh, you know have public access, but um, and make sure the Ferrises and the, the neighbors aren't seeing our you know the equipment. Mm -hmm. um, there's only so much we can do with what we have there. Well, it's, we certainly don't have any money to spend on getting someone to you know a designer kind of person. But I wonder if there's someone in town who has some of those skills who would be willing to work on it. You know? Yeah, um, we'll have to think about that. Yeah, well, there's, there's going to be architecture, landscape. I don't know. Um, uh, so, I don't know. So, so, all right. The other thing that I have um, is something that. Um, we need to go into executive session four. Um, so I'm wondering whether it makes sense um, to do it at the end of the meeting. So I think I'll, I'll do that, and that way we don't have to get on and get back off for um, public uh, uh, transparency. And there'll be nothing or um, decisions made from that. Um, it's a, a attorney client privilege thing. So other than that, that's all I have for announcements. Sasha, did you have anything? I just had that email from the Blodgetts. I didn't send it to the whole board. Um, they're asking to have their zoning fees waived to rebuild their garage, which is $168. They had, uh, they had their fire last year, is that correct? Yes. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I think in, in light of um, you know what we do for people, our zoning fees, we could probably um, take those. What do you guys think? Yeah, it, yeah, I agree. Although they did, they did send the check to the amount, but <clears throat> yeah, no, but I guess it could just be returned. So right. We and I appreciate you doing that uh, rather than assuming that we're just going to abate it. Um, and it's not a ton of money. Um, right. But, it, you know, they're, they're, they're place burned. And, you know, I think the least we could probably do. I'm in favor of it. Yeah, me too. All right, so uh, I'd move to abate um, the zoning fee on the Blodgett's garage at $168. <laughs> Second. Ms. Kelly. Um, any further discussion? All in favor, vote aye. 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 All right, thank you, everyone. All right, um, so let's go ahead and uh, approve the minutes from May 18, 2020. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of May 18th. Thank you, Ray. Second. Ms. Kelly. Uh, Kelly seconds. Uh, any discussion or any changes on those meeting minutes? <laughs> all right. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you. Aye. Mm -hmm. All right. So this moves us along to old business. Um, there's a little, not much old business sitting down. Does anyone um, encounter anyone who might want to be the first constable? No, I, 
up coming up for him, so we need to find someone for him. Yeah, but this is the eating, right? <laughs> that was actually something else, but, um, anyways, and, uh, so let's just go ahead and move on. Is there any new business? I think um, this could be new or old, depending on, uh, let's see, what are we looking at now today? Oh, June 1st. We'll again reassess um, sometime in the next week or two uh, whether we're having uh, meetings live or not. Um, I have been down to the, um, uh, the building and, and it's, there's the library is not set up at this point because of the last function they had there was their um, Friday night um, stage, whatever they do there. So um, it's, it's open and easy access for us to use. Um, but depending again on where we're at and, and where what everyone's feeling, um, but we may or may not go back to that uh, live meeting soon. Hopefully we can. But again, we want to make sure. Um, Everything is safe for all. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Um, so I guess that that's it. We'll go into um, executive session here, and so that'll just um, and so it's um, let me just read. Okay.